since I've done a writing voiceover. And to be honest, I really haven't written a whole lot this summer, but I'm trying to get sassy back in shape a little bit. So in this ride, it's just going to be a walk trot ride with a couple poles thrown in. Sorry if you heard that motorcycle go by, but I only did over one pole and I just went over it a few times each way. But here I am just warming up and I'm trying to get sassy to stretch a little bit more. And I really need to be better about closing my fingers and putting my thumbs on top. But I was really just trying to get sassy to stretch forward and extend her stride a little bit more because in the warm up, she tends to be very lazy. She doesn't always go into her corners. So you can see me kind of struggle a little bit to get her bending around the corners. A lot of times I have to really swing my inside leg around her barrel to get her to bend a little bit. So here she is starting to drop a little bit but her back is still not lifted, which I noticed in this ride she was struggling with a lot, but that's probably because she just wasn't moving forward enough. But here I'm just picking up the contact a little bit more after doing a circle and trying to get her to move forward a little bit more down the long side here. And then cutting not quite across the arena. It's not like I did half the arena. I kind of just did like three quarters and cut across. I tried to shove my hands out in front of me a little bit more, and as you can see, she started to kind of lower her head a little bit, but still not quite using her back as much. Here she is actually starting to move forward quite a bit more. Her toes are kind of flicking out a little bit, and I'm still hoping she can lift her back a little bit, but she just struggles a lot with it, especially just due to her confirmation. She kind of does a little bit here, but it's just short-lived, and I don't ask her to hold a certain contact for a very long time, except for going long and low or riding on the buckle, because she can choose how low she wants to put her head and how far she wants to stretch. So here, I asked for a little bit of contact on the reins, not a whole lot, but I'm actually going to start to go over the pole right here, and I thought we got an okay trotting distance. I really had to put my inside leg in here to get her around the corner, and she definitely did fall in a little bit, but she just struggles with her corners a lot, and it's just always a work in progress. So here I'm trying to get her to move forward. I really need to be putting my thumbs on top, of course, but she has a nice trot going on, and she kind of tripped over that one, got a little bit short, but the corner here I thought was definitely a lot better. And then I'm going to cut across the arena here and I will start to go the other way and kind of got lost a little bit there. So we're cutting across the diagonal here and primarily most of this ride was on a looser rein. I do have a feel on her mouth here, but nothing too crazy with the contact. I did start to pick her up a little bit more, but I wasn't necessarily trying to get her to be in a certain position or not. I was just trying to get her to move forward and kind of start to use her body a little bit more. I should have supported her with my inside leg a little bit more and my outside leg around this corner, but I thought she went over the pole okay, had a little bit of a trip, but I noticed she started flicking her toes a little bit more and she started to kind of push a little bit. Here she's starting to root a little, and if you're not familiar with rooting, the horse tries to kind of pull the reins out of your hand by still kind of putting their neck down. So here we're coming over the pole, pole again. And I think this was a bit better of an approach. She got her front legs a lot better, but she kind of reached up with her back legs a little bit more. And here I'm not quite doing the full arena. I did cut it a little bit short, but that was on purpose. I was trying to get her to push from behind a little bit more and kind of soften into the bridle. At times she does lift her back, but I, like I said, I didn't really notice her doing it a whole lot this ride, but I also wasn't really focusing on having her in a certain position. I just wanted her to go sanely over the poles. And that was actually really nice because she typically does rush poles, not quite as much at the trot, but she definitely does at the canter. So here I am crossing the diagonal again, and she stretched really nicely across the diagonal there, and I thought she did lift her back a little bit. So here I am just pushing her a little bit more, picking up the reins, trying to encourage her to lift her back a little bit more and stretch into the bridle. But I did bring her over to the pole here and she started to stretch her neck out a little bit more. 
and I thought that was a pretty good distance for her. I had to really support her to try to get her around that corner because she does like to cut her corners. Pretty common theme with Sassy. She's always been like that. And here I am just trotting her along. I think I was trying to get her to move into more of an actual frame. Not quite like long and low. Just kind of picking up some contact. Hopefully she's softening into the bridle a little bit more. And then this was our last pull, I believe. And I thought this one was probably our best one. And she was such a good girl over it. So I ended it on that. Gave her a little pat, as you can see there. And here I started to just do a couple circles after the pulls. And I started to pick up a little bit more contact here. And I'm just trying to get her to soften and bend around my leg. And she does start to flick her toes a little bit. And at some point, she tries to use her back, but she just struggles a lot because she's super long conformationally. She has a super long back, super long neck, so it's kind of hard for her to collect. But here, of course, the people missed it. I thought she really went into my hands a lot nicer, and she went down to a nice walk.